All right, so here we're going to go over free response question two from the 2017 AP statistics exam. And the question says the ability to visually search, such as when reading an X-ray or interpreting a satellite image is an important skill in many jobs. Researchers conducted a study to investigate whether playing video games could improve a person's ability to visually search. Three video games were used in the study. One was a driving game, one was a sports game, and one was a puzzle game. The participants consisted of 60 volunteers who had no experience playing video games before the study. Each participant was randomly assigned to one of the three games so that there were 20 participants per game. All right, so part A is saying to describe an appropriate method for randomly assigning 60 participants to three groups so that each group has 20 participants. So this is, you know, just making sure you understand the, the, the basic idea behind random sampling. Um, now, the thing is, is that since you have 60 people, you want to make sure you guarantee that you get 20 in each one. So like, you want to kind of be a little clever, but it's really not, it's really not too much more than um, using a random number generator, which is essentially what I put. And the way I decided to go about it is, you know, having the first 40 numbers be selected from 60. So I'm gonna, all the participants get a number from one to 60, one, two, three, four, five, you know, all the way to 60. And then I use like, you know, a calculator, if you know, like if you remember, um, your teacher showed you this. There's a probability random integer. One comma 60. And each time you press enter, you'll get like a number. Now, when it says without repeats, if I was to get like a 38 again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like count it as, I wouldn't count it. I would just keep on going until I get 40 different numbers. Then the first 20 I get, I'm going to have those go to the driving game. The next 20 would go to the sports game. And then the 20 that um, weren't picked at all, those would be the ones going to the puzzle game. All right now, the second part is saying the time to complete a visual search task was recorded for each participant before the assigned game was played time to complete um a visual search task task a visual search task was again recorded for each participant after the assigned game was played um, so it was they recorded the time before and after and they wanted to see basically how much they improved and this has to do with this researcher because they wanted to see whether like the type of game it had an effect on how well you improved. So the researcher expressed interest in investigating whether playing a driving game would lead to a different mean improvement time to complete the visual search task than versus playing a sports game. It says to assume that the population values are normally distributed and the state to name it the test with the appropriate null and alternative, alternative hypotheses that we would use for this sum. Investigation. Okay, so um, we're going to be looking at a two-sample t-test for a difference in means, because um, t-tests are for means. Remember, z-tests are for proportions, and it says pretty clear right here the mean improvement time. The, 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 the two samples would be like, the first sample would be like the time before they um, did the, 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 before they played the game. And then the second sample will be after they played their game. No hypothesis is that, they, that there is no difference in the improvement times among the games. Meaning that the improvement time, the mean improvement time from the driving game is the same as the mean improvement time from the other game, I just blanked out with the, the, sports game. Yeah, that's what I put the S for some reason. So sports game for the S and driving game for the, with the D. Um, 
And it doesn't even ask you to run it. You just have to state the hypotheses and that's it for that. Not too bad. And the last part, talking about power. It says when the appropriate test was performed, no significant difference was found in mean improvement time between the driving game and the sports game. Name one change the researchers could make in a future study to increase the power of the test. Explain why such a change would increase the power. Remember power, it doesn't actually even tell you what power, it doesn't even actually test you to, or ask you to explain what power is, but um, having a higher power is better. It's basically um, a reliability. Like the higher the power, the more reliable your test is. The more, the more certain you can be that you're gonna come to the right results. Um, so one way to increase power is to increase the sample size. And this is pretty intuitive because if you have a bigger sample, you have more information, you have more data. The more information you have, the better estimates you can make. Um, and thus, mathematically, I guess you could say that the standard error, or which is essentially the standard deviation, um, but we're talking about sampling distribution because it's, it's a subset, but the larger sample sizes result in having smaller standard, standard errors mean that you're going to have um, more accuracy. So um, that's the one I went with. Um, with. When you're dealing with power, if you're not too comfortable with it, try not try to say less than more. Um, because they remember these people don't, these people don't know you. And um, if they only can go by what you write. So if you write something correct, you're good. But if you start like contradicting yourself and adding stuff that's like confusing to them, they're probably gonna get suspicious and think, wait, this person doesn't know what they're talking about. I know my students will usually struggle with power and that's kind of the advice I give them. I tell them to keep it short and simple, like, in, and just answer the question. Cause it doesn't even, again, it doesn't even say for you to explain what power is. Um, so you're good there. All right, so that's it for that question. Uh, again, if you have any questions or um, are wondering uh, like how I got uh, my, one of my solutions or whatever, just leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video.